Ah, hello, my fellow spectators, gladiators, and warriors. It has been quite a while since I've checked in with you. Today, I'm weighing in at 205 pounds on this fancy scale, minus five pounds for the camera. Welcome to another episode of Resurrecting Hercules. So check it out guys, a lot of you have been asking me for a little bit more details and you've also been talking about my shoes and stuff. So I asked my dudes over at Vanity Planet to send over one of these body analyzer scales and the reason why is because it gives you so much extra detail so we can track a lot more accurately. And please don't look at my toes right now. Now it's gonna spit out all sorts of different numbers that are gonna help you track a little bit more accurately. So it's got my water, got my muscle mass, it's got my bone density, got 10, almost 10 pounds of bones in there, got everything in here. But I just wanted to hit up Vanity Planet and have them send out this scale. Uh, they're from Orange County, so they're like a pretty local company. They've worked with me a few times, and there's also a discount that they wanted to give me to give to you guys. So if you want to get this scale yourself, you can get it for 60% off. You can use my code, it's HUMORSFIT, and the link will be in the description below, right there. But other than that, let's get into this Hercules episode. Hey, what's going on my friends? I am back from the YouTube house. It's been about three days and I am just so freaking sick. I am floored sick. I've got this incredibly congested nose. I've got this kind of flu feel. My bones are super tired and achy. I'm just out of energy entirely. Uh, but yeah, I just felt like I should open the camera and let you guys know this. Like half of the YouTube house is dying from the sickness. I did not escape it. Um, and so basically I'm going to try to get past this sickness as soon as possible, hopefully by this weekend, Friday or Saturday, and then hopefully just start pounding the gym again after I hit those first, you know, fade in workouts. What's up guys? I'm hanging out by my freaking bumper of my car because it's so windy, but right now I'm about to go into the gym and do my back rows. Well, I'm about to do my back day, but CD cable rows is the thing that I've been tracking and I think I got um, my last time I recorded this was like 230 pounds for six reps. So I'm going to either try to beat the reps or the weight on this. Again, I'm trying to keep this safe. So I'm doing plenty of warm ups and I'm gauging how I feel. If I don't feel ready for it, I'm not just going to force it just for the episode. So we will see how it works and we'll, we'll hopefully have a PR to show you guys. I did not expect to get that many, holy crap. Thank you, dude. Oh man. Damn, baby. I'm so hyped on that. Look how red I am. I'm like Mr. Krabs right now. So check this out. We are hitting the same exact weight on a different day. This is about four days later. And I was able to actually get 12 reps on this. On the last one, I got 10 reps. And in my opinion, I feel like the form looks slightly better here. Obviously, the last two reps are a little bit grinded out, but that is an awesome progression for me. Next week, who knows, either heavier weight or maybe more reps. Okay, first look at this with my shoulder stretch here. Look how little mobility there is. I'm about to stretch it, about to crank it that's how far I can get. Now take a look at these together. This new clip is two days ago. That's how much I've been able to improve my flexibility and my supraspinatus muscle. And this is going to help me out so much. The sleeper stretch is everything. If you're someone who's had tightness or pinching in your overhead exercises and pushing movements, this is something that my personal PT actually told me to do and it's helped a lot. This week I've been trying to eat about 35, 3600 calories, give or take. Some days it's a little bit lower, some days it's a little bit higher. And what I've been craving, man, what I've been craving is some Caesar salads. I don't know why. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you know that I go back and forth with salads. Sometimes I'm like really wanting them, sometimes I just leave them by the wayside. But this is what I got. I use a little bit of something called Just Caesar, so it's a vegan brand, and I got a little bit of wonton strips on there. But one thing you might not have heard of before, and maybe you wanna try it, is you can take some tempeh, some plain tempeh, and you can just crumble it into little pieces, and you can put this in your salad. It's kinda like some little chicken chunks, little protein chunks, and you get a little bit of extra protein in. I've been murdering salad as much as possible, and I've been eating out at Chipotle probably three times a week. <laughs> so this is something I use for my scoliosis. This is called an inversion table. And basically what you do is you hang upside down, 
my feet are secured in here and it's allowing all of the pressure to go the opposite way of how it usually goes, right? So I feel actually like right now, I feel my spine kind of decompressing, especially in my thoracic, which is like my mid upper back. Uh, that feels really good, especially that's an area that gets really tight with my scoliosis. So my goal here is to decompress my spine and start to kind of realign my spine by stretching it and holding this position for about five to 15 minutes. I try to do this every day, but I end up doing this probably about three to four days every week. It, it's really weird, and the first couple times you do it, you might not actually feel that great, but now it feels really, really good. My friends and family, you have made it to the end of this episode, and I am stoked to put a Hercules episode up. I know how bad you guys uh, want these up. I know how much you guys enjoy these. I equally enjoyed these that much. These are my favorite videos to do by far on the channel. I think they're so entertaining and, and the style is really fun. So I plan on continuing this, but the last about a month has been extremely busy. If you guys have followed along with the YouTube house and everything, you know that I've just been so busy that I haven't had time to do the Hercules episode. So uh, I'm bringing it back. Uh, during the YouTube house, there was um, a lot of eating kind of like desserts and eating out and stuff. So it was a little hard to keep track on the diet, but I actually ended up getting a little bit more cut there because I was eating less food in total. Now that I'm back in my house, now that I'm back into my groove a little bit, um, I'm aiming for about 3,500 calories. Sometimes I go a little bit low, sometimes I go a little bit high, uh, but basically what's happening lately is I've hit that, that stride in my bulk where I'm starting to feel strong. Like I'm starting to hit these exercises that I've been hitting for a while and all of a sudden I'm able to move it down a weight, move it down a weight. I've been rowing with 255 pounds. All of my t-shirts, all my clothes in general are all getting like a lot tighter. Like you can see this shirt is like right up against my arm, which is freaking awesome. It feels super good and that means that the bulk is going well and we haven't put on too much fat, although we have put on a small amount of water weight, a little bit of fat as well, but I feel like where we are right now is pretty good, especially for the weight that we're controlling with. As far as my injury goes, my, ma my main injury being the shoulder, it's feeling a lot better. I'm able to do certain things. I'm even able to use a, a very lightweight and do a little bit of some uh, one arm shoulder presses, which is part of my rehab. And it's been bothering me a lot less in my chest exercises, my back exercises. It still does, you know, flare up a little bit and kind of hurt sometimes, but a lot less often, which is telling me that we're progressing into having more mobility and flexibility in my shoulder and eventually getting to that point where I can bench and I can push and I can do all sorts of things and shoulder presses and lateral raises and things that I haven't done for over two years without it being painful and without it actually tearing up and being bad for my shoulder. My physique has been feeling a lot thicker, like I'm saying, like t-shirts are tightening up and stuff. I feel like uh, everything's looking a lot more bulbous. I, again, am adding a little bit of fat. The water weight goes up and down, so what you're seeing right now may not be reflective of what exactly I look like throughout each day of the week, but everything's been feeling really good. I'm really stoked about the progress. I want it to keep going, so I'm gonna keep pushing my ass to make it on point, stay disciplined, try to increase the weights, everything progressive, but in a small way that way I don't re-injure my shoulder but I just want to take a quick second and say sorry guys if there hasn't been more episodes they are coming back I swear it I guarantee it if you want to see them make sure that you give it a thumbs up right now so I can know that you guys want to see this and hopefully I'll have something very exciting to tell you guys in the next episode of Resurrecting Hercules <laughs>